going on? Welcome to another video doing a product review on the WePro anti-fog insert uh, for your visor. So the reason why there is a part two is because I have two new updates for you. Update number one is that I am now working with WePro. I am now affiliated with them. So every time you use this discount code up here in the corner, it, it will save you 20% as well as helping me. Um, the other one is uh, because we are going to install it on a tinted visor. Now, I know that uh, this is, you know, you see them advertise for clear visors. Um, the grid lines that come with this product, you won't be able to see it very well. So that's what we're doing here. Now, WePro, why use WePro? Well, WePro is a lot easier to use. Um, you don't have to worry about having pinholes into your visor. Um, you know, if you have them or you don't, you can just buy this. Uh, it's a base price there's not like a variation of prices whereas that's what happens with the pin lock visors you know oh this one costs this much this one costs that much this is how you install this one this is how you install that one some of them have the screws some of them have the tabs whatever these ones fit onto a majority of helmets the only exception is uh those full face shield ones so they're kind of like those open face ones that have the shields that go all the way down to your chin those get a bit narrower at the bottom um so they're a little bit awkward working on those ones whereas if you've got your basic uh, helmet like this that has a regular visor um they should work so simple you buy one of these and it's just a straight clean your visor put the grid on and stick it onto your visor and that's it it's stuck it's solid and it lasts longer now on my clear visor when i had this on and it was like heavily raining i had my visor closed for about what 40 minutes and i had no fucking okay. issues even with the pin lock right after a while it starts to mist up along the edges and starts to slowly come into the middle so let's go ahead and talk about what i've got in front of me because you guys can't see that obviously okay so to do this install it's very simple all you need is something clear to allow light to go through and shine onto your visor so you can see the grid. So anything, anything, glass table, plastic container, anything that you can get that you can put a light into that fits your torch. Microfiber cloth, obvious. Glass cleaner, obvious. Anything will do by the way, you don't need some like top shelf glass cleaner. Uh, I've got a bit of tissue here, just to remove any like bugs and stuff from the visor. Um, as long as it's soft and it doesn't, you know, it's not like leaving lint, then you're fine. Or like little uh, bits of tissue, tissue dust. Um, also, I've got my spare pins here because my ones uh, lock uh, into the visor and you have to like press them in to release them. Some other ones, when you take the visor insert out, they'll just slide out. But I've got these just as spare. Sometimes new helmets, they come with it anyway. Torch. But if you don't have a torch, you can use your phone. So anyway. Let's get started with the install, shall we? All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is obviously take the visor off. So just carefully, there we go. Get the helmet out of the way. And let's take these pins out first of all. So just bend it, just separate like that a little bit. Obviously, do save this in case you ever want to reuse it in future. So let's put that away to the side. Okay, so now what we want to do is obviously clean all of this. Let's see. Oh, that pin fell out. So obviously that one, I've, I've broken it. So I'm going to replace that in a bit. I'm going to clean the surface now. Let's get this. Now obviously you want to use a microfiber cloth because you do not want to leave a speck of dust on the inside. Don't worry about the entire visor. Just do the area which you'll be working on. Let's put this into camera focus, there we go. Okay, so let's open up the packaging. So here you have the grid and your little lint-free cloth that you can use. So if you're confident doing this, just go ahead, put the grid on. Um, if you wanna be extra cautious, uh, a little trick that you can do is uh, leave the pin lock in there, put it back on the helmet, and try to line this up uh, from the outside using the old uh, pin lock to kind of guide you a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just to show you guys um, as many tips and tricks as possible, I'm going to put my insert back on, put it back on the helmet and do it that way. Okay, so now I've got the torch inside. Uh, I can just see the visors just there. So what I'm going to be doing is lining this up with the old one. Um, and then go from there because once it's on I know where the top rim and where the bottom rim is 
um, so I don't have to worry like if I place it onto here yeah that's fine all the surface is meeting there's no gaps I'm happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the grid on now with it onto the helmet all right so this is the red tab you peel this off first and be very careful with the insert uh, place it down gently and don't get the uh, seals dirty so you want to remove these tabs and line them up to the visor so let's go ahead and take this off all the instructions are on the inside by the way so don't worry if, if you're not following uh, if it's getting a bit confusing all the instructions are in there okay so what I did is I put the torch inside and I got my digital caliper and I measured a little bit on the top there a little bit on the top there has to be the same position uh, just to kind of like get that little bit extra accuracy and then I measured the bottom to make sure that they were uh, especially the same as well like this is fit into the middle of the old visor um, and it's level so that it's not crooked so now what we're going to do is take this visor off take the pin lock back out and install the we pro uh, insert now so let's go ahead and do that okay so with this visor it's not as tinted as my old one so i can actually see the grid lines but i'm still going to stick a light underneath it just to show proof of concept so there, you'll just have to follow that. So there, you can see, you can see the light straight through it. Easy and peasy. Uh, and what you have to do is again, once you peel that red tab, this is now exposed. So you have to be very careful to not get it dirty. So what you wanna do is flex it and get that middle line in without contaminating the glue. So bend it and get that middle line on. I'm going to move the camera out of the way so that I can look directly above it and line it up. You guys will have to excuse this angle just so that I can see directly above. This is more important than making a video, you know, because this is what I'll be using. So, <laughs> okay, now I'm, now I'm starting to have depth perception issue, issues because I'm looking at two lines that are already millimeters apart from each other. Now the problem is that you get this line onto each other and then you go to press it and then you find out your other lines are not straight. Okay, see I want it a little bit below. I want to make sure I get it directly on there. Um, you know, I'm happy with that. That's pretty straight, yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to just kind of like curve it in. You want to roll it basically, roll it on, you don't want to, so that there's no tight spots. And then so here as well, lift it back up and slowly from the middle outwards, apply it. And there you go. Give it a little bit of a press. Check for any gaps and if there are any gaps, just simply before it adheres, before you put pressure onto it, just open it back up, lift it up, and then roll it back on. It feels like everywhere is sealed. So we're gonna look at the seal now. I wanna make sure that's fully sealed on and that we're happy with it. Okay, so what we've done is we've pressed around the seal. We've not touched the middle. We've pressed around the seal. I'm happy with it. It's sealed. I've checked from the other side. So now I can peel off the red tab, sorry, blue tab from the inside, which is the internal grid gently so I don't peel it off. This is actually stuck on there pretty good. Just make sure you hold on to one side if you want. Just make sure that as you're peeling it, you're not letting it lift any part. This is actually stuck on quite good. I actually wanna show you what this looks like on the blue tab. As I've been peeling it away, it's cracked and crumbled the line, the lines come off the plastic. But okay, there we go. So a little bit of a long video this one, I've tried to go into more depth on how to install it. I missed out on the last one, I'm sorry. It was a little bit difficult trying to record and install uh, and not show my face on the reflection, but we've taken more caution. I've got iCal over here helping me. So, okay, let me put this back on a helmet and do an outro for you guys. All right, guys, so here we are at the end of the video. Uh, once again, thank you, WePro, for working with me. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment. 
Let me know how you got on with the installation. Uh, if you have purchased these products before and you've been using them for a while, let me know about your experience. If you have used both products, the uh, pin lock and these inserts. Um, with the old one, just put it in a plastic packaging, put it back in, make sure you keep it clean. Um, you know, cause you'll never know if you need these ever again. Again, thank you to iCal for, um, let me use this phone to record this because I'm not about to chuck out a whole lot of money on an iPhone 10. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like certain people throwing money 11 Pro Max onto an iPhone um, for no reason. It's an 11 Pro Max. Oh, it's 11 Pro Max. So, yeah, whatever you entitled. Anyway, guys, peace out. Send nudes. <laughs>